What's up everyone? So today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can automatically show the number of records in a grouping in your Airtable database. So if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS. And what we do is we help business owners, probably just like you, help them optimize their information systems. So with stuff like Airtable, Asana for project management, Toggle for time tracking, Zapier for connecting all the systems as well as Integramat. And if you're interested in that, you can check out the link in the description and request a consultation from me or someone on my team. But without further ado, we'll get right into the video now. So here you can see I have this grouped and it is grouped currently by the linked record, the opportunity. So basically what this base is, it's a sales CRM. So you can track your opportunities, your interactions with those contacts, the accounts, the contacts of those accounts, as well as some tasks and some other tables that I added. For this example, all you'll need to know is the interactions are linked to an opportunity, and that opportunity is the linked record that we're grouping by. So there's actually a calculation field that we're grouping by, but it will serve the same purpose in this example because it's pulling. Like for this one, it's grouped by AceTube inquiry, and we just added these so we can sort these groups, which will be the, the next video that I would suggest watching is how to sort these groups. But to do this, what you need to do is you need to go to your linked record. And so you need to go to these, the table of your linked record. So for this one, it's the opportunity. So if you're in the opportunity table, which you are linking and then grouping, you would come over all the way to the end because you don't need this and you can hide it after you make it. And what you're going to do is you're going to add a new field. So you click the plus up here and then you scroll down and you choose count and then you count whichever table that you're trying to link into. So the one we're linking into is the interactions. So if I link into the interactions, I'll just click interactions and we don't need to make sure they meet certain conditions. If you have an example that they do, you could click that and then add some filters in here, but we do not. So we will go ahead and create this field and that will automatically count the number of interactions per opportunity. So now if we head back to the interactions table, we can come over here and we can add a what's called a lookup field. So a lookup field will access the data from this linked record. So it'll go to this opportunity here and it will pull in whatever information is in that row. Now, because we added this count in here, when it's in the interactions, this account is here and this account is also here. So if you want this as a reference field over here, you'll just add a lookup by coming in here and scrolling down to lookup right there. Or what you can do is you can go to your linked record, click add lookup fields, scroll all the way down where we created that field and then click toggle that on. So it brings in the count to the count interactions. So once you do that, you can see over here on the right, you can see there are two interactions for this client. There are two interactions for this client. There are three for this one. And these field, these summary fields right here that can provide like a sum, average, medium, min, max. I would probably just go with either the min or the max or the median because it'll all be the same thing for this example because you're pulling information from the record that it was grouped by, which is also a linked record. Now, this is really only easily done if you're in this stage where you're grouping by a linked record or you're grouping by a formula that pulls off of the linked record and the only dynamic piece of the information in the grouped by field is the linked record. So keep that in mind when you are creating this automation, but all you have to do is pull in that lookup field of account field of the interactions and then it will work. And then you'll just add this lookup field and you'll be able to reference this anytime you want. And it will also be dynamic. So if I come in here and expand this record and then scroll down and add another up, another interaction, I can add a new record in here and it will automatically be linked and say this is a discovery call. So I'll exit back out of that and then we can now see that there are three. So this is really dynamic. If you want to change it and then come back, it'll automatically be changed using this method. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have questions on how to do this, throw them in the comments. But if you really like this video, I would highly encourage you to go watch this video that I mentioned earlier on how to sort these grouped fields because it's not that easy. There's a few different ways depending on the field type on how you can sort these. So I highly encourage you to go watch those if you want to organize it a little bit better, whether that's by a date or by numbering system or whatnot. So I encourage you to go check out this end screen right here. 
And without further ado, I'll see you in the next one and have a great day.